Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and yes, I know that I'm slightly tweaking the channel a little bit. I know that I'm doing more editorials, more features, more commentary, but you know what? When news pops up, news sometimes still needs to be discussed, and I read this on the Rideshare Guy blog. This is truly where it was, the story was broken for me, so this isn't just me, you know, being pals with Harry here, but Uber is apparently starting to finally acknowledge if you are a driver with a high star grade, they are acknowledging you. Not only that, they are putting their money where their mouth is. They are giving you a little extra money. Now, there might be some debate as we go through the story whether this is enough, there always is, but of course, the fact that Uber never acknowledges anything and the fact they're doing now, that, that can't be undermined or can't be undersold. It has to be acknowledged. I mean, if they acknowledge us, we have to acknowledge them in return. Whether or not it's enough, that's a debate for the comment section, of which I'm sure there will be many, many, many of you discussing that. But let's talk about this. It's called the Uber Rider Preferred Program. Now, what is it and how does it work? Recently, Uber drivers started to receive mysterious black boxes in the mail from Uber headquarters. They weren't expecting it. Upon opening it, they were treated with a thank you from Uber for being a top 2% driver and were given access to a new special promotion that rewarded them for having high ratings. Drivers who receive the status will receive an additional $1 anytime someone tips them through the month of August. Okay, so uh, I did read this article a couple times, and somehow I missed that. So, uh, obviously we're going to be talking about that. Uh, <laughs> on top of the tip from the writer. So, how does the Uber Rider Preferred Program work? It's like, well, the box shows up covered in black, but upon opening, it is a white box with a giant white star on the top that opens to reveal the interior context. Uh, let's see here. The Rider Preferred box includes the following. A thank you note from Rachel Holt, Vice President and Head of New Model Tillies. I don't know how to pronounce that word, sorry. At Uber. A, vid a video greeting card. A Rider Preferred sticker on your vehicle. One actual US dollar announcing eligibility to have Uber add a dollar to each tip you receive from the following month. A custom Uber travel mug. So anyway, that's what the box looks like. Uh, you can barely see the star on it, but there is one there. Uh, there's the thank you note, which I will read. It says, John, you go the extra mile to provide outstanding service and your riders have noticed. From delivering consistently clean and comfortable rides to great conversations to the perfect playlist, you received an exceptional number of five-star ratings and compliments for all that you do. So on behalf of your grateful riders, we'd like to recognize you as a rider-preferred driver, a new designation given to our most frequently recognized driver partners. As rider-preferred, you're part of the elite group of favorite drivers, representing fewer than 2% of all drivers nationwide. Congratulations, and please accept the custom package with our heartfelt appreciation of everything you do. Sincerely, Rachel Holt. So, you know, nice letter. Nice letter. I'm not going to complain about that. Um, oh, I just see that they put that there, so I didn't even have to try. Well, anyway. So then you have a video greeting, which um, I guess we can't watch. Uh, you have a sticker that shows that you're... I don't know where we're supposed to put that, if you're supposed to put that in the car, on the car, but, you know... And there you see an actual dollar. Now you can go buy some movie pass stock. <laughs> Sorry, reference to my other channel. So, and a custom uh, mug. Not bad. I mean, that looks like a nice mug. I, I don't know if I'd use it, but yeah, that looks like a nice mug. So, let's see here. And here's the part of the article on why this is important. Drivers finally get something for having a good rating. Now, this is something we have discussed many times on my channel, particularly on my um, podcast. In fact, your driver, Mike, has been especially vocal about that Uber should be showing some appreciation to the long-term drivers, to the high-rated drivers. Now, this is still not the long-term drivers. I mean, it seems like if you've been driving for Uber for three, four, five years and you've got a 4.85, I guess you don't get anything. Why would you get anything? You've only been driving for us for half a decade. But if you're an exceptionally good driver, they're going to give you a little extra money. So, continuing the article, up until this point, there has been very little benefit to being a highly rated driver for either company. 
uh, which apparently was pointed out during Harry's Q&A with the Uber CEO that was, of course, never broadcast to us. Uber is finally doing something about this and even throwing some money down to allow drivers with a high rating to earn a little extra on the road by adding an extra dollar to each tip a rider preferred driver receives during the month that the promotion applies. And generally, my advice for new drivers has been to only vaguely focus on their ratings because taking them to heart could result in a bit of anxiety watching the rating go up or down, which is true. I remember my life when I was worried about rating and I pestered the passengers about it. Boy, that was a miserable time. But once I stopped worrying about the rating, it was a lot easier. Well, you know, until people started, you know, shoving me against the door and taking my phone and stuff like that. But, you know, I've made videos about that. Uh, if this were to become a permanent fixture of the driving experience, that would change my calculation on the importance of ratings a lot, which is another line we got to talk about. Um, and now, of course, they have like a little bit of a strategy. Um, but here's the thing. In what cities is Rider Preferred active? And, of course, they're only running them in a few areas. But if you live in Atlanta, Austin, Baltimore... Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Miami, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Nashville, New Jersey, New Orleans, New York City, Orange County, Ottawa, Philadelphia, Phoenix, Pittsburgh, Portland, or, oh, sorry, Oregon, um, Salt Lake City, San Antonio, San Diego, San Francisco, Seattle, Toronto, and Washington, D. oh, no, no Sacramento, oh, man, some of my moderators from Sacramento are going to be pissed. Uh, my guess is that they will probably expand the program in the future, but for now it is limited to the above cities. Now, he's going to give you his take, and then I'm going to give you mine, of course. His take is, most drivers seem to have an overwhelmingly positive reaction to just getting an acknowledgement from Uber that they have a high rating and are considered special among their peers of other drivers. Uber is also putting some money where its mouth is at the time by offering a monetary promotion that applies to those who got the award. I think that makes this most meaningful because otherwise it would just be a box with a note and a mug. I'll bet a nice box. <laughs> well, he doesn't even mention the mug. He mentions the box. I don't think anybody expects to earn a lot of extra money with a promotion. The last day I drove, I was tipped a total of six times over 13 rides. I also consider that a, quote, good day when it comes to tipping, especially on Uber. If I work 24 days in August, a five-day work week, that would add up to an extra $144 for the month. This also assumes I cannot increase the frequency of tips. Again, I think most drivers who get it are happy to be humanized. Also, I didn't I didn't get a box, just in case you're wondering. I don't know what that comment means. But anyway, let's go back to uh, the top. In fact, uh, let's look at that, um, at that box a little bit more. Ain't that box nice? That is a very, very nice box. Holy cow, that is a nice box. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get a little sarcastic now. So anyway, when I read the article, I somehow overlooked the fact that this was a promotion. I, I don't know how. I just thought that if you were a top-rated Uber driver, they were going to be giving you a dollar per tip that you received. Now, why per tip and not per ride? Well, I don't know. Um, I guess it's because, you know, not everyone tips, and so, you know, they can save some money that way. Well, that's probably what it is. And I was thinking, you know what, this is nice. You know, they're giving them actual money. They're actually they're acknowledging them. The acknowledgement is nice, and the money is, of course, helpful, even if it's just a little bit. I mean, a dollar per trip, like if you do five trips and three of them tip, then, yeah, that's an extra $3. And I can't complain about that. Extra money is extra money. I did not realize that it was a promotion. So it's only going to be going on through the month of August. I'm guessing that's because August is typically a much slower month to drive. Um, I... I, I know this from experience, and I would always drive less in August, so it gets people out there. It gets their high-rated drivers out there, and of course, it makes them look good. But after August, the promotion will go away, which means this is, of course, just another lip service thing. There's still no long-term change. Now, had the dollar on top of the tips been a long-term thing, then this probably would have been much more noteworthy, and I was expecting it to be much more noteworthy because, again, I somehow overlooked the fact it was a promotion. So I, I was thinking I was going to get here, you know, talk about how great, oh, a promotion or not promotion. They're going to add a dollar to tips and that's forever, or at least that's for the near future. So yeah, that's good. They're acknowledging and they're paying more. And that is a step in the right direction. I always should read things a little bit more carefully, of 
course. Now that I see it's a promotion, it's only a month, and it's during a particularly slow month, so yeah, you might not even get much out of this. And, of course, it's only giving you the tips if you are a particularly high raid driver, the top 2%. And, you know what? There should be some acknowledgement for the long-term drivers as well. There just should be. So, but, again, look at that box. It's a nice box, right? So, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, of course, I'd like to thank Harry for breaking the story. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> look at that box. Hmm. Anyway, what do you folks think? Do you like this? Did you get your letter? What do you think of the mug? Was that box as good as it looks in that picture? I would love to know. What do you think about Uber's doing this? Is this an acknowledgement for you? Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, but even as those well as $1, and apparently Uber is now giving you some $1, goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one. That is a damn nice box.